Hi, this is George Miller from the Buffalo Bill Center of the West in Cody, Wyoming. Water is the lifeblood of the Bighorn Basin. You can see this riparian area, so lush and green because there's water, but the surrounding hillsides, pretty dry. Some areas of the Bighorn Basin only receive five inches or less of precipitation in a year. This is the Bighorn Canyon. This is the story of two canyons, the Bighorn Canyon and the Wind River Canyon. The Bighorn Canyon is in the rain shadow of the Absorica and the Beartooth and the Priors to some extent. So it's a very arid area. Not much precipitation. There's a dam at the end of this canyon impounding the water. And that water is used for hydroelectric and agricultural purposes. Water is like the gold of this area. The dam has created recreational opportunities and fisheries, but it's also changed the nature of the canyon. This one is a little different from the Wind River Canyon that we'll be talking about next week. The Wind River Canyon is dammed above the canyon. Here's a view of the priors that we visited previously, from whence a lot of the water comes into the canyon. The Prior Mountain Mustang Herd is a genetically unique group of horses that live in the canyon and surrounding area. Beautiful, beautiful horses. But you look at the forage and it's not real deep, so they have to have a large area to roam in to support the herd. As well as the bighorn in the canyon, there are plenty of browsers and some predators there are uh, mountain lions and black bear. So the actually bighorn sheep have had a hard time in this area competing for resources. Well, you can imagine what this scene would look like without the impoundment. There'd be no bay here. This is Horseshoe Bend Marina. People launch boats here. You can imagine what the whole bighorn basin would be like without irrigation. Pretty dry. So we'll look at another canyon next week. Same river, two canyons. As we pan across the Bighorn Basin, that mountain runoff is the lifeblood of this area. And water is the most precious resource here. Of course, we couldn't be down at the base of the mountains and forget about our old friend, the Chugwater Sandstone Formation. That beautiful red. I'll leave you with these two bighorn namesake of the canyon.
please like and subscribe if you're enjoying our videos from the Center of the West. Take care and I'll see you next week.